Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, so this is going to be a general energy reading for today, Wednesday, February 27th, 2017. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as this is a general reading. This is not specific to anything, love, career, uh, sign, anything like that. This is just a general reading, okay? Whatever spirit wants to discuss with us today. And because energies are fluid, um, it just and just because, you know, the reading is t dated for today and, um, you know, these are the messages that are coming through today. This doesn't have to be something that resonates today. It doesn't have to be something that you're going through today. It could very well be. It also could be something that's going on down the, down the pipeline or something that happened in the past or maybe something not at all that's going to happen for you. Who knows? This is a general reading. Um, okay, so the happy hour did not happen last night. I'm sure you're all aware. Um, that was a little bit of a struggle for me to not do. Um, I was being guided not to do it. Things are really, really intense right now. Um, there are a lot of shifts, obviously. We've been talking about that for some time. Um, for me personally, I'm still dealing with a lot of the things that have come up during this last full moon, which was last week. Um, and it's, it, it, it's, it's crazy because it really has put me or thrown me back into a mindset that I was in, I want to say like 10 years ago. Um, and when I think about it, it's something that I had just recently come out of within like the past five years or so. But now, um, you know, I'm not in the same space that I was five years ago, we'll say. And um, now I'm on my own, in a sense. Um, I mean, I am. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on my own, but not really, because <laughs> you're never really alone. Uh, but I'm I'm back in my own so I'm back in solitude, so even though I have roommates, so it's I guess the reason why I'm going through this again is because I'm able to see it from a different point of view now, and to do something about it in a different way. I don't know if any of you else, any any of you are still are going through something similar, but that's what's happening with me, and so as a result, we also have this interesting placement with the sun right now um betsy my very my, one of my very best friends um she sent me something to help explain because i didn't quite understand why i was being guided to not do what it says what it, what i had said what i said i was going to do which is something that i'm not a fan of um not following through when i say i'm going to do something or when someone else does that i'm not a fan of that but spirit is real, was really pushing me yesterday to not take on all of the things that I had set out to, to take on, which also means that I didn't start the March readings yet, but that's going to happen in time. It's all going to happen in time. Don't worry. Um, it's just that there are a lot of, there are a lot of shifts happening and there's this interesting placement with the sun that I do want to share with you guys. Um, Betsy sent it to me and made a lot of sense. <laughs> so I am going to share that with you guys later. Check Instagram. I'm going to post that. But anyway, um, here we are at Morning Coffee. And thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, this is a really intense, really, really intense time. I mean, personally, I just, I feel like I just want everything to stop. I just want it all to stop, you guys. Like, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I just want it all to stop. But, and please don't take that as like I'm suicidal or anything. That's not the case. It's just that, it's just, there's been so much intensity lately that I just, I can't. All I really want to do, <laughs> all I really want to do, you guys, is just sit in my room and meditate or like play video games or whatever. And, and actually, last night, Spirit was kind of saying to me, Eric, why don't you just like relax and play some video games? And I'm like, Spirit, no, I have things to do. I have responsibilities to do. And at, and at one point they were like, Eric, stop being so damn stubborn and just listen to us. 
And I was like, are you guys serious? And of course, before I even finished that statement, they were like, of course we're serious. I'm like, okay, all right, okay. And so I did it. And it was fun. Um, it was somewhat helpful, but then, you know, then I went to bed and it was just kind of like, I couldn't sleep. I had so much, I had such trouble sleeping. But anyway, here we are. Morning coffee. General reading for the day. Let's see what we've got for the day, yeah? Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, February 27th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, I do want to say a quick happy birthday to all the Pisces out there, the Western Pisces. Um, and I, again, I, I feel really bad because it's your birthday season and I haven't, I haven't done the March readings yet. So I really apologize. Um, I, I do, I feel really bad about it, but it's just, it's really just not the time for me to do that right now. The energies are too weird. There's too much in flux. Ooh, well that didn't work. <laughs> Let's try that again. Anyway, happy birthday to you guys. <laughs> also, I'm changing the way I do them. So, but you'll see. Because they're going to happen. It's just not right now. <laughs> just not right now. All right. Wednesday, February 27th. We're almost out of February. We literally have one more day of February left, so, which is weird. Okay. One more shuffle, guys, and then we'll see what's coming out for the day. Okie dokie. Here we go. What's going on? What do you have for us today, Spirit? Best messages for the collective today. Okay. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Best messages for the collective. Wow, that's really nice. Okay, cool. Underneath the deck. Well, that's not so cool. Five of Swords is underneath the deck. All right. You've got the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so the focus here, the focus here is on the physical world, on the 3D existence, on the corporeal existence. The focus right now, as far as this reading goes, the focus right now is remaining secure, stable, steady, honoring commitments to the greatest degree that you can. All of this is coming from this King of Pentacles energy. Okay. And all of this is happening in the face of some serious turmoil, Five of Swords. But what I'm getting from this Five of Swords energy is great change. It almost feels chaotic like the Five of Wands, 
but it's not, it's very, very destructive. And this is mentally, so this is, you may be dealing, I know I am dealing with this, but you're, you may be dealing with um, a surgence or a resurgence of thoughts, beliefs, fears from the past that have held you back that you found to be really destructive this is so strange but through all of that though you have the ace of cups here which is reminding you to love yourself it's almost as if you're working on staying grounded in love for yourself. Wow. And then you have this three of pentacles in reverse here, which at first I was feeling an energy of not wanting to be a team player, but it's not like you're trying to be destructive in that sense. I just get the feeling that there are some people or whoever this is, whoever this message is for, if this is resonating with you, you're not wanting, you're not wanting to work with people. You're just wanting to be on this. I'm, I'm, this is almost like, this feels like solitude. Three of pentacles here. There's three of pentacles in reverse. Now, um, so the other thing that's going on here is as this king of pentacles energy, I feel like whoever this reading is for, you're very stable, you're very grounded. With this three of pentacles in reverse here, it may feel like either you don't want to work, you don't want to do the work that you've been doing, or work just isn't working really well right now. I'm hearing you're not supposed to be working too much right now because you're supposed to be focusing on loving yourself, this Ace of Cups, filling your cup through this turmoil of the Five of Swords. This Five of Swords feels planetary. This is not something that, um, I mean, we are, are we in Mercury retrograde right now? I don't know if we're in it right now. Please, please let me, you know, uh, comment in the uh, in the comments down below but um i feel like we are and if we're not in it right now it's coming mercury a, a rec retrograde season is coming it's very interesting i mean i mean king of pentacles nine of pentacles you may not be aware of it consciously if you were to look really closely, I think you would see it. But you're okay. King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, you're grounded, you're secure, you're stable, you're independent. And I still feel like things are still flowing really well for you. But the focus right now, the focus of the energy right now is loving yourself through the chaos, through the turmoil, through the change. There are some great changes happening and I'm going to share excuse me I'm going to share um, a meme that Betsy shared with me yesterday because it really helped me understand what's going on I mean to a T it's kind of crazy but it's something having to do with the Sun until the first about the first of March now understand energies are fluid and as far as I'm concerned it doesn't just because it says it's going to happen until the first of March it doesn't mean it's going to be like the first of March, March and then it's just like a, a switch and everything just goes back but or continue whatever but now this three of pentacles in reverse also talks about rebuilding Okay, the biggest thing that I'm getting here with the Three of Pentacles is that there's some sort of blockage with business right now. Especially if you're an entrepreneur. Um, something somehow, I'm hearing something is being reshaped 
for some of you or for someone specific. Something's being reshaped. Maybe that's the way you approach your business. Maybe that's the way you, uh, uh, the, 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 the people that you serve, the clients that you serve. Something is in flux. Something is re, re, reshaping. Is <laughs> For some, maybe someone, it's re-manifesting somehow. Or there's just straight up a blockage. But I don't feel this is something that you have done. I feel, like I said, this is a planetary thing with this Five of Swords here. Now, that doesn't mean that business is going to completely stop. It's just slowed down. Slowed down to a trickle, maybe. Which is okay. Just go with the flow. And to be quite honest, like me personally, I'm okay with that just because... <laughs> Just because of how I feel, just because of all of the raw emotions that I've been going through lately, all of the, all of the fighting I've had to do against fears and negative thoughts and negative beliefs and all of that stuff. I personally haven't really had the energy to do much else than just come back home at the end of the day and just sit in my room and like cry or meditate or just like be all kinds of introspective. I haven't, I just haven't had the energy to do much else. Like it's even been, it's been a struggle just to leave my apartment lately just because I don't want to be around people. And maybe I shouldn't be tell, saying this because maybe it's going to, I don't know, maybe it's going to be like, ah, I don't want a reading from him, but it's like, I'm a human too, you guys. <laughs> We're all going all through all of this together. And obviously, I know I have a responsibility to fulfill, and I have every intention of doing that, but I have to I have to care for myself if I'm going to be there for others, and that's the same goes for you guys. You have to care for yourselves too if you're going to continue to be there for other people. So this is just some retrograde season. That's what that Five of Swords is saying to me. Retrograde season. Please let me know if we're in it. Because I think we've already started. <sighs> now this King of Pentacles either is you or is someone else. But this reading, this King of Pentacles doesn't have to be a masculine figure. Couldn't be a woman. We all have both masculine and feminine energies within. But this reading right now is speaking to an individual, a specific person. Well, okay, not necessarily a specific person, but like it's speaking of someone that's feeling the effects of this retrograde. That's going through the turmoil and is afraid potentially that business is really going to suffer or they're really going to suffer because they're because you're not able to like maybe keep up with the demand if there is demand but i don't feel like there's a lot of demand right now like i said with this three of pentacles in reverse there's a lot of delay here there's a lot being held back in the form of service but that is the universe helping you out So that you can focus on loving yourself right now with this Ace of Cups. Healing even. If you're still having to do some healing. You know, if you're still sick. If, you've been st if you're still dealing with the physical symptoms of all of this illness that's been going around lately. That's been kind of working towards immun uh, um, immunizing our bodies in ways. If, I even, if that's even the word, but immunization, you know what I mean? Like, like the, 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 it's very similar to um, the message that I shared from Amanda Ellis. If you guys haven't checked that out, go ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. I posted it on um, my Facebook page and in the community section. There's a lot happening, you guys. Okay. So let's get some clarification now. King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. To me, this is just saying that you're okay. If you feel like you're dealing with a... 
a lot of different stuff that's just coming at you from left and right and you don't think left, right, and center in all different directions and you're not sure you're going to be able to handle it, you can handle it. Everything's going to be fine. You have the stability. You have the ground. You're grounded. You're independent enough. You're self-sufficient enough to handle this. I, I, I swear, all... I want to say in relation to that is just focus on loving yourself right now. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. If that means that you have to, you know, keep, keep the amount of work that you're doing to a bare minimum. If that means you have to come home and take an Epsom salt bath every day. If that means, oh, whatever that means. If that means treating yourself to something, whatever, just focus on loving yourself right now. Okay? All right. One more shuffle. And then we're going to start with the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Just a bit of clarification here, please, Spirit. And I'm using the Epic Tarot today. It is one of my favorites. Okay. See, and it's funny. It's really funny. Oh, look at that. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have the lovers. All right. And what I was going to say, I mean, this is a good amount of cards, but what I was going to say is it's funny because even though you feel like you're stuck or you're stagnant or you're not doing much work, there is a lot of work happening behind the scenes. Eight of Pentacles, all right? Now the lovers is speaking to your relationship with yourself, the balance between masculine and feminine within, okay? You have the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, Let's, and then you have three more cards that are face down. Let's talk about these face up cards first. Excuse me. So you got the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Mind, body, and spirit are really coming into balance here. Okay? And um, it's so funny because <laughs> when I was talking about this Three of Pentacles here in reverse, I was saying that you... I was saying that it feels like many don't many of who I'm channeling for in this message you it's like you don't really want to be around people at right now and I was seeing the three of cups in my head and I was kind of saying to myself in the back of my mind I was like well the three of cups is more of that social energy but I feel it with this three of pentacles here because it's like you're not really wanting to engage in real any real teamwork potentially and now we have this Three of Cups here. But the Three of Cups, yes, is that is officially, this is like the social celebratory energy. But to me, this is a time where, yeah, especially with this Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups is a little, is depicted a little different here. But this is a time where you're integrating mind, body, and spirit in a much deeper way. And the Seven of Cups here, you see how she's, covering her eyes normally that card is is someone looking over looking out over at seven cups with all these different options the seven of cups can talk about confusion but here this woman in this depiction is trying her best to not confuse herself she doesn't want to see the options she's not trying to see that right now and what I'm getting with this is the balance between mind, body, and spirit, or the internal reality is the focus, not the external. Okay. I mean, as far with these energies that I'm feeling right now, um, there are there are some choice there are some choice words that some of you may have for the external world right now. <laughs> And I don't blame you. And that's what, but to see with the lovers here, this balance, loving yourself, this is what's happening right now on an internal scale, okay?
That is why your focus is on the internal, not the external. And that's why Spirit is here saying to you, you don't have to focus on the external right now. Three of Pentacles in reverse. The business is probably pretty slow at the moment, or you're just not wanting to do it. King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, you're stable, you're grounded, you're well manifested, you're independent, you're self-sufficient. You can handle this. Okay? You know, you know, and, and it, it's not just about being having the physical the physical representation of it with this king of pentacles energy you know how to handle this so that you can come out okay it's like by now many of you are very well prepared <laughs> for situations like this okay these other three cards my 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 we have the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Tower. It's like someone is facing. Oh boy. Oh, geez. Wow. Okay, so it's like someone is. Um... Someone is facing a really, really strong realization. Um, this is going a, a one of two ways. Well, it could be going any really way. Anyway, really, but what I'm picking up here is two main scenarios. One, someone is coming to, and this was the first one that came through. Someone was coming to the realization of how basically they cheated themselves out of a Ten of Cups situation. For others of you, and even though, okay, so this is actually, this is actually the strongest one, the strongest piece that's coming through, but for others of you, you are realigning to your Ten of Cups redefining what that Ten of Cups even is to begin with. And this is happening in secret. Of course, it's not so secret anymore now that I'm talking about it. <laughs> but you guys get what I mean. This is, this is happening underneath the surface. For some of you, this is something that you're not even really aware of what's happening, and that's why this is being depicted as the Seven of Swords. But what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing with this Seven of Swords energy is like an elephant in the room coming to some sort of realization. Oof. This is happening underneath the surface here. Mm, 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 mm. Now, realigning to your Ten of Cups is a big thing right now. I think a lot of us are going through that um, a lot of us are really, and that's the energy. That's the energy of the tower here. Okay, a lot of us are questioning what it is we've been doing with ourselves lately, how we've been deceiving ourselves, how we've been going in, going about finding our ten of cups potentially the all the wrong way, focused on all the wrong things, and that could be part of why this king of pentacles is here, because for some, it has been driven or your 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 goals your aspirations your dreams what you've been stri striving for what you've been working towards achieving has been driven by greed money material status and like speaking personally to the energies that's going on and how i'm i'm experiencing them in in saying i just want everything to stop I just, I, I want the rat race to stop. I want, I, 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 I don't, I don't want to have to be this person just to be happy. And this person is who? This person is focused. It can be. Not all King of Pentacles are. But in this, cir this circumstance with this energy, this is reflecting on how materially driven we've become as a race, humanity, right? 
we're all just so focused on money and power and status and fame, fortune, big houses, fancy cars. It's all so wasteful. The lovers. Find that balance within yourself. Uh, oh, whoa, spirit. Okay, so part of what's happening here is if this is coming into focus for you right now, this is helping you find the balance. So for some of you, this is actively healing your masculine energies within. through the contrast. Wow. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely did not see that one coming. <clears throat> okay, let's move forward. And let's talk about this Ace of Cups and this Three of Pentacles in reverse. I really, honestly, I really feel like this is saying, guys... The amount of work that you need to do right now physically is not anywhere near what you think. You're doing a lot of work already. Spirit recognizes this. The universe recognizes this. This is all part of the design. This is all part of the plan. You need to focus on loving yourself right now. That is the focus. I mean, me personally, I would love to take that advice, but I'm sitting here arguing with myself saying like, no, no, I have things I need to do. I have, a, I have a plan I need to keep to. I have a schedule I need to keep to. People are depending on me. I can't sit around and, 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 and twiddle my thumbs, Eric. Come on. Twiddling your thumbs. Okay. Like we're, you're, we're, okay, we're right there. Okay, great. <laughs> so we're all on the same page. That sounds great. All right, so let's talk about this. Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles in reverse, please, Spirit. Good Lord! I mean, you cannot make this shit up, y'all. We have the Nine of Wands underneath the deck. We need to rest. We just need to rest, guys. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. There's no way around it. The more you resist this, the harder it's going to be. Look at what came out. I want to start here. The Ten of Pentacles. And also, the Ten of Cups. It's so crazy because the Ten of Pentacles the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles comes out in my readings together every so often. And then there are people that, like Aluna Ash who have been reading for much longer than me that are, you know, much more clairvoyantly... Well, I mean, I'm more clairaudient. But anyway, I mean, I'm kind of putting her on a pedestal right now. But... Um, but she speaks, she says how, I don't even know why I'm saying this, but this came to mind, so I want to share it with you guys. She said, she mentioned once how, you know, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles rarely comes out for her together. And I'm sitting here like, really? Because they keep, they keep haunting me. <laughs> but I want to mention that the Ten of Pentacles fell out on this King of Pentacles here. So there is an understanding, or at least there needs to be an understanding, that... In the grand scheme of things, you're working towards this Ten of Pentacles, even though there may be a lull in the physical activity right now. You're still taking your steps towards this, okay? Now, it also fell kind of sideways. So to me, that is an understanding or that is a, a, a situation in which someone is starting to recognize how much money and status and fame and things like that really don't matter because you could have all the money in the world all the status in the world you could be 
the most famous being on the place on the face of the earth and none of that would make you happy ultimately especially fame you see what fame has done to people not being able to leave your apartment or leave your home without being mobbed like sure it might be cute in the beginning it might be fun and exciting and thrilling and oh my god people love me everybody knows me <laughs> and then all of a sudden reality sets in it's like holy shit i can't even go to the store i can't even go down to the corner and grab a a, a beer or a soda i can't go to the grocery store and shop for my kids or my family without being mobbed moving on we have yeah, wow okay we have the hierophant the world and the two of pentacles so we're still very much in between worlds you guys this is like these are like the birthing pains honestly it's like we're we're, we're in labor right now birthing this new reality this new life for ourselves coming out of the old the old being like the patriarchy which is symbolized by this hierophant here um yeah these are birthing pains labor pains you guys labor pains this is why you need to work on loving yourself focus on loving yourself right now Ooh. well isn't that nifty we have the three of pentacles coming out on the three of pentacles so that to me is like is confirmation now okay the other thing that i was going to say is even though this three of pentacles uh, physically well i did say this i said this a number of times but the three of pentacles here in reverse it does symbolize that there is a lack of movement in the physical world but there is a lot of rebuilding happening energetically internally there is a uh, um, and three of pentacles often talks about self-mastery so here throughout all this turmoil whatever is happening and actually i don't think i said this specifically but i wanted to say this with this retrograde energy that's happening and all of these things that are coming up from the past that you thought you may have dealt with um you're being given a chance to remaster yourself in a new way here three of pentacles all right there you go queen of swords okay this is the energy of look i don't have the time or the patience for your bullshit right now so i'm just gonna need you to step aside stay out of my way and no one gets hurt that's what this queen of swords is saying right now <laughs> she's like i have enough shit on my plate i don't need you to add any more because i'm not quite sure i'm gonna finish everything that's on my plate right now okay <laughs> be careful guys all right and, and and don't get me wrong like i feel it too i totally feel it too but just hold your tongue a little, yeah? You have the Four of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. So what this is explaining here is that you have a solid foundation right now, okay? Four of Wands, you're steady, you're grounded, you know. It, you wouldn't be in this position right now if you didn't have the stability of the Four of Wands at your disposal. If you didn't have the lessons from the past that you have now come to understand on a deeper level with the seven of pentacles here okay that is very much an energy of you've learned you've learned your lessons you've learned uh, uh, now okay that's not to say that all of the lessons have been learned but you've learned you've you've accomplished what you needed to accomplish so far to reach this checkpoint this four of wands feels like a checkpoint here so like if you're playing a video game and you're on a mission and you go, and it's a long mission and you go for and you go through and it's been a tough mission already it's been really difficult been very challenging but you reach a checkpoint so now you're like oh okay i can stop i can breathe i can i can refill my health i can i can i can heal a little bit and i don't have to go back and start over again should i i i i, I experience a mishap moving forward I just come back to this checkpoint. Does that make sense? Gamers, you know what I'm talking about. 
like in the game, if you were to continue with the mission and like say you die, well, you don't, thankfully, you don't have to go all the way back to the beginning of the mission. You just go back to that checkpoint and start again from there. That's where I feel like we are right now. And then finally, you have the Eight of Wands. I know it doesn't feel like this, guys, but shit's moving. Shit is moving quickly on an energetic level. The, thing is, the physical hasn't quite caught up yet, but it's moving, okay? Let's get some Oracle guidance now. And I think we need a little bit of light worker today. Ooh, you know what? No animals. No animals. Thank you, animals. But actually, Spirit is saying in the theme of <clears throat> loving ourselves right now. <clears throat> excuse me. In the theme of loving ourselves right now, let's get some Whispers of Love Oracle. One more shuffle here. All right, guys, best messages, please, spirit, for today. I'm just gonna, whoo, I'm just gonna let this go. Best messages, please, spirit. Okay, underneath the deck, we have treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. Now, in order to love others deeply, what do you have to do first? Say it with me, love yourself deeply. Excellent. We have actions speak loudly, express your love through your actions. And what this is saying actually right now is this, the biggest thing this is saying to me is um, practice what you preach. So I have to do that, right? I'm telling y'all to love yourselves. I'm telling y'all to love yourselves, right? So if I'm telling, telling y'all to love yourselves and take it easy, what am I supposed to do then? Work my ass off? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. You have, you are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. And that's kind of, it's almost like that's a test right now. To say to yourself, okay, so I understand what the, what's going on with the energies a little bit. So with that said, I'm gonna take that advice and I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest, I'm gonna love myself. And I'm going to believe that everything's okay because why I'm limitless. Does that make sense? You also have love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth and importance. Love thyself, love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Finally, demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. But most of this is internal right now, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna close the reading with a little bit from the Lightworker Oracle. Also, if you want to spend some time with your family and friends, people that you know you are really close to you that really help lift you up, I would recommend doing that right now. This is a great time for it if you're up for <laughs> being around people. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay. Whoops. All right, one more shuffle. Excellent. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out the reading here. We have. Wow. Card number 36, Reassurance of the Golden Light. This is a longer one today. But that's okay. I mean, I did start the reading by talking about for like five minutes, but you know what, it's fine. <laughs> Card number 36, reassurance of the golden light. This golden light comes to you as a gift of grace and reassurance. 
It is an embrace from the universe, an expression of divine comfort and a sign of hope. When the golden light appears, it is a sign that everything in your life, even the most troubling matters, is going to work out perfectly. They are held in graceful hand in the graceful hand of the divine and will be resolved more swiftly and beautifully than you can expect or than you might expect. Eight of Wands. The golden light is a very real phenomenon, although you may only perceive it when you are particularly relaxed and your clairvoyance is already developed. However, whether you see it physically or not, it is, a, it is real and powerful. If you could see it clairvoyantly, it would look similar to the golden rays of the setting sun. The same warm, loving glow is cast over your heart and mind when the golden light is shining upon you. If you are in a room when it comes upon you, you will wonder if a light has been switched as the glow is as noticeable as if a lamp had been placed in your room, it's worth warmth illuminating your space. In truth, grace and divine assistance are always there for the asking, but there are times when we are in need of extra support. During such times, ironically enough, we can forget to ask for help. Perhaps you are struggling with a particularly difficult time in initiation or uh, in an initiation, excuse me, or a challenging choice lies before you. Or maybe you have taken a leap and just need to know that you're doing the right thing and somehow, even though you don't feel in control of what's happening, it is going to work out. When the golden light is given to you, it is freely done so as a gift from the heart of the universe. It is letting you know that you are a child of the universe and you are dearly loved. It is reminding you that on the path, the struggle to continue with trust, patience, Faith and courage can seem almost overwhelming. However, the universe is with you, supporting, loving, and believing in you every step of the way. You are not alone. You are never forgotten. You are always loved and encouraged to take your journey. You are reminded that the universe is smiling upon you. Okay. So there it is, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone has a great day. Um, hang in there. Just hang in there. Everything's going to be fine. Um, I don't know when the next time I'm going to do happy hour is. I don't think it's going to happen this week. I'm going to be quite honest with you. I just don't think it's going to happen this week. Um, because I do want to focus on personal readings that come through. By the way, I have gone through a price drop. Um, mirror readings are have, uh, have dropped in price. And also, general freestyle readings have dropped in price. So check those out. If you do want to get a reading with me, go right ahead and email me. I would rather focus on personal readings right now because those actually are less draining than the collective readings. But I do want to get back to the collective readings. Um, I do want to start the March readings at some point soon, but Spirit's already saying, we'll tell you when the time is right. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Hang in there, guys. Everything's going to be okay. All right? I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.